we want to evaluate the integral, we have x squared minus x plus 6 divided by x cubed plus 3x dx. Okay, so let's take a look at the partial fraction. So we want to write this in partial fractions. Okay, so we had the function x squared minus x plus 6 divided by x cubed plus 3x. Okay, so if we set that equal to now, let's factor the denominator. Well, what can we factor out of the denominator? We can factor out an x, and then what's left is x squared plus 3. Okay, so what we notice here is that this x, okay, has been factored out. And now this is x squared plus 3, but this is irreducible. And we have three um, variable terms that are in our denominator that we have to factor. So that means that we're going to have the following. It's going to be a... over x plus we know that x squared plus 3 cannot be factored any further so that's going to be bx plus c and so therefore this is our equation that we are working with and then we want to be able to multiply by the LCD so in this case here the LCD is x times x squared plus 3, x times x squared plus 3, x times x squared plus 3. So we can eliminate that denominator, we can eliminate the x for that fraction, and then eliminate x squared plus 3 for that one. So therefore we end up getting the following, x squared minus x plus 6, which is equal to a times x squared plus 3 plus x x times this x times bx plus c so now let's go ahead and distribute so we have x squared minus x plus 6 we're going to distribute the a to both terms so we have ax squared plus 3a and then we're going to distribute the x here and we get b x squared plus cx. Okay, now we're going to write down our systems of equations. So we know that this coefficient is 1. And so if we take a look at the x squared, we have 1, we have a, and then we have b. So the first equation is going to be a plus b, which is equal to 1. Okay, the second one, you see that we have a minus 1 for the x coefficient and then plus c. So we know that c, x, in this case, not c, x, c, is equal to negative 1. And then this last one, we know that 3a is equal to 6, which means that a is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So we know that a is 2. We know that c is negative 1. And now we're going to use the equation for 1. And we're using that equation to be able to solve for b. So using equation 1, we have a plus b, which is equal to 1. We know that a is 2. Subtract 2 to both sides. 1 minus 2 is going to give us negative 1. So therefore, we have the following. We know that a is 2. We know that b is negative 1. And we know that c is negative 1. So now let's go ahead and then write out our integral. So again, the original integral was x squared minus x plus 6 and we're dividing that by x cubed plus 3x and that's dx now if we want to write it as partial fractions we had the following we had a over x plus b x plus c over 
x squared plus 3. And that is dx. So now we're going to substitute what our coefficients are for a, b, and c. So a is 2, so that's 2 over x plus b, which is negative x, so that's negative 1x. c is negative 1 over x squared plus 3, and that's dx. So now let's rewrite this so that we have three different um, integrals. So the first one, we have 2 over x dx. And then minus, because we're taking this x, it's going to be x over x squared plus 3 dx. And then again, it's minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1 over x squared plus 3 dx. Okay, so let's just map here. So this is the negative that comes here, and then there is our x, and then there's the minus that comes from here, and then the 1 is here. Okay, so therefore now we know that uh, where we have our integral set up. So now over here, we know that we have uh, the 2 on the outside, so this is 2 times 1 over x dx minus. Now this becomes a u substitution problem so we have the integral of x over x squared plus 3 dx right if we let u equal x squared plus 3 du is equal to 2x dx and then divide by 2 so 1 half du is equal to x dx so now we should have 1 over u times 1 over 2 du. We factor out 1 over 2. And then the antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of the absolute value of u. And so that becomes 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 3. Okay, so that's what we're going to put in over here. So let's just go back to this problem here. Since we know we need to factor out the 2, right? Let's go ahead and factor out the 2. So if we factor out the 2, it's going to become 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of x. Okay, over here we determine it's minus 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 3. Okay, so now we integrate the last one here. So we have 1 over x squared plus 3. So if you notice here, it's going to match this particular integral here. We have 1 over x squared plus 3 dx. So we want to be able to write it in this form. So that means we have to square the 3. So somehow we have to make sure it looks like an A here. So the best way to do that is the following. We can say that this becomes 1 over x squared plus how do we get 3? Well, if we had 3 was the square root of that, and if we squared that, then that tells us what that means. And that gives us the fact that now A in our formula up here, is equal to the square root of 3. So now when we integrate, we're going to integrate this by writing 1 over a times the tangent inverse of x over a. And so let's go ahead and do that. So that becomes 1 over the square root of 3 times the tangent inverse of x over the square root of 3. So now we're going to go ahead and put that into our solution. This is going to be 1 over 1 over the square root of 3 times the tangent inverse of x over the square root of 3 plus c. And therefore, there is our solution.